Uh, the current relationship with Saudi Arabia is not working for America. They have been strategic allies and could be in the future. But right now, it is more of a burden <clears throat> than it is an asset. And why not say that? This uh, country, led by the de facto leader as the crown prince, has been a wrecking ball. And the Khashoggi incident is just uh, one of many, but the most egregious. And I think most people can relate to why we're upset. I want to let the president know that I think you're right about Saudi Arabia having been a strategic ally, and they could be in the future, but I think you're wrong about what's going on here. That just because you're our ally, you cannot kill with impunity uh, and believe you can get away with it. That's a global message that we need to send, and uh, at the end of the day, if we don't send that message, uh, then I worry uh, for what path we, we move ahead. This is not going away. This is something we are going to continue to work at because people need to be held accountable for what's happened. And this is a bipartisan effort that will continue. So I'm pleased to join my colleagues today, those people who have been in the forefront of trying to call attention to what's happening in Yemen, to call attention and hold people accountable for Jamal Khashoggi's murder 